Hello and welcome to my channel. If you've already been to my channel, thank you, I love you. Thank you for coming back. I have so many fun things planned for this video. I'm actually kind of talking in retrospect because I already did all of those things. Go to Barnes and Noble, read, annotate, go to Trader Joe's and get all the fall foods. All that stuff we are going to be doing today, actually not today, this spans over like time. It's gonna be fun and I hope that you enjoy it. I've been wanting to go to Trader Joe's and get like fall foods and snacks for so long so I'm finally gonna do it today. I may take like a couple of videos in there and then I'm gonna do a little haul. I'm back. I didn't end up filming a single thing in Trader Joe's. I feel like it's always he so hectic. Like I leave and I feel like I just accomplished something huge because it's just always so crazy. Okay so I actually I went to Trader Joe's but I also went to Safeway and the thing that I got from Safeway was this pumpkin oat milk creamer it's really good i'm kind of scared to try another one because i already know i like this but if anyone knows one that they like let me know i'm just showing all of, like the pumpkin fall theme stuff that i got for this fall vlog i got honey apple crisp granola i got these gluten-free pumpkin pancake mix i heard about this and i really just researched so much before shopping here because i don't always shop at trader joe's and i haven't gone in a while so i was like okay what are the fall things i have to get and someone said this was good, so I got that. Butternut squash mac and cheese. This was another one of those things that I saw someone say was really good. I got this pumpkin ultra moisturizing hand cream. I actually already put it on. It smells really good and it feels good. My hands get super dry, so I needed a new one to put in my bag and this one was pretty good. I got this pecan pumpkin instant oatmeal autumnal harvest soup classic i actually don't know if it's a classic but it sounds like it would be pumpkin bread and muffin mix my mom used to make this all the time and it's very very good and it's just like nostalgic also baking like bread or something like that makes everything smell so good i got pumpkin gnocchi just sounded really good i saw this this is like one of the first things that i saw that i was like yes and then I got this Harvest Blend Herbal Caffeine Free Tea. I just like to drink tea before I go to bed, but I've been trying not to drink ones with caffeine in it. So that is the last thing. I have a book haul to show you guys. So lately I've just been getting books and I didn't really realize how much I've acquired lately. I'm gonna start off with the one. I'm really excited about this one because I got it for a buddy read and that is Phantasma. Phantasma has only two rules, stay alive and don't fall in love. So there's like a necromancer and like a a hot ghost I'm pretty sure the only thing deadlier than losing the game is losing your heart someone compared this to Caraval which makes me so excited because I love that series so much if you don't know Caraval is by the same author Stephanie Garber as the Once Upon a Broken Heart series I'm really happy to have at least one book with a skull on it for this Halloween because I don't think I have one that I'm planning on reading for this Halloween I don't think so this is perfect. Next up, we have a book that I have already read and I've read it more than once. And I also just reread random sections of it a bunch because I love this book so much and I don't even have the physical copy of it. And I was like, okay, it would be a dream to annotate this. The book is A Court of Silver Flames. The more and more I read it, the more I could connect with parts of Nesta's story. It is a truly character-driven story for sure. And it's like all about Nesta. I got the entire Heartstopper series because I really want to read this. I love the show. The show is so cute. Here they all are together. They're so cute. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. The Heartstopper books are graphic novels, so I feel like they're such good books to read when I don't want to read like an entire novel, like an entire big book, but I just want to kind of read a good story because they're 
just like that. I got recommended this book by Jossie or Fairy Jossie, I think, on TikTok. And then she's on YouTube too. And she likes this book a lot. My understanding is it's kind of Hunger Games-ish. This girl is competing for Hades and there's a romance there. That's my understanding. But it sounds so good. And the way that she talks about books just makes me want to get every single one of them that she talks about. So I did get this and I'm so excited. This next book, it was $2 on sale at Barnes & Noble. I got this because my grandma likes this author and I wanted to just kind of get a book that my grandma maybe reads to just like see what types of books she reads. So I was looking through the Nora Roberts books and this one just kind of stood out to me. It was kind of confusing because there's like two books in one and I didn't know that. So there's one book in it, it's like Night shield and then there's hidden star i don't know if they're like connected somehow but it's so tiny and the words in it it's kind of like it seems like you know reading great gatsby in school or something like that's how the pages look it's so pretty <laughs> oopsie it's so pretty though those are all the books that i got recently <sighs> okay I'm about to build my bookshelf that I've been putting off for a very long time and it's just been just like sitting there and I want to decorate a bit for fall. Also, I did make like a pumpkin cold foam matcha. You can't see the cold foam anymore because I drank it, but also it kind of just like dissolved into the matcha. But basically I just put pumpkin puree with like different milks and just mix it together and cinnamon. It tastes really good, but it just like didn't have that. It didn't look like a cold foam. finished my mom came and we were just doing it together it's not screwed into the wall yet so it's kind of wobbly and i have to wait for that to like decorate it and put books in it i got this like mirror apple from home goods and it is just so cute and i feel like it's the perfect amount of fall but also i could just leave it in here year round then i also got this little plant because i just feel like that'd be really cute on top of it I'm about to read Phantasma right now. I bought the physical copy, but then I realized I could literally just read it on my Kindle. It's on Kindle Unlimited, which is great because Kindle, I don't know why, but like it's been easier for me to read on my Kindle lately. It's just been making me read more. I'm on page 344. I'm 70% of the way through. I think I'm going to tell you about it after I read it for a little bit, just so I could re-get into the whole thing.
so time for me to talk a little bit about Phantasma. I got to like chapter 39, I think. The story is so juicy right now, and it's really doing a good job of keeping things, like keeping the audience on their toes, at least me. I'm definitely on the edge of my seat reading like the part right now, which is great because sometimes at like this point in the book, I could kind of start to get like bored or like things are just like too mellow maybe, but like right, no, it's it's so good. Like it's happening just the way that I would dream for it to happen, so I'm just loving it so far. It's a great blend of like high stakes and romance. It's, oh, it's so good. Ophelia, the main character in this book, is a necromancer, and then the love interest is a phantom. Ophelia's mom's also a necromancer, and she's like carrying on the family tradition of having the magic. She has a sister named Genevieve, and their mom dies. That's when the magic like transfers to Ophelia. Genevieve runs away like after their mom dies, but like stuff happens after that, but then she runs away. So Genevieve runs away to this competition called Phantasma that travels around kind of like how in the Caraval books. It's like games, and they travel around to different places. It's like a moving um, circus almost, but it's not a circus. So Phantasma is like in their city, in their town, and Genevieve runs off and enters Phantasma and she doesn't tell Ophelia she's doing this. Ophelia gathers it from like hints at the house. So Ophelia of course enters Phantasma as well but she can't see her sister because they're on like different levels of the trial. So she will be able to see her but only until she gets to a certain point. You can um like drop out of Phantasma. You could say like I don't want to be here anymore but if it's during a trial where like the devils test you basically you can't drop out at those times. You have to make a deal with the devil and that's the only way you can get out other than death. So she's in these trials and she kind of has a leg up on everyone because she is a necromancer and she has like certain magical abilities that she's learning more and more about as it goes on. The love interest is a phantom who she actually meets before she even goes in the trials. She meets him on accident and she can't see him when she first meets him. Basically he makes a bargain with her where like he finds a key to like get his memories back and everything or like get out of Phantasma and like not be tied to Phantasma anymore because he's almost like a prisoner to Phantasma. He just has to stay there and he doesn't even know why he has to stay there because he lost a bunch of his memories and it's just all like a blur but he knows that he's been there for like a really long time so we don't really know who he is we just know like he's like the phantom but he is called Blackwell that's like his name that she calls him he calls her angel it's really cute so yeah she's competing in these competitions and basically the bargain is that he can get out and not be attached to Phantasma if she finds the key but if she doesn't find the key, then um, she has to give him 10 years of her life. That's how he's been like living so long is that he just keeps making bargains with people. And he doesn't remember a lot of the people, but he just, that's what he's been doing for like, I think centuries. That is what's going on and it's super interesting. And I am like close to the end and there's just so many things that are going on that are like back and forth and I just don't know what's gonna happen. And yeah, I just, I, I'm loving it. I'm about to go to my brother's house because I'm dog watching for his dog and near him at the park near his house there's like a free book library i have never put a book in one of those libraries i don't think i've ever taken one from them either but i think they're really cool and just like a cute great idea i'm so happy they exist like i hope those never stop existing but anyway i want to bring over two books it looks kind of full so i'm just gonna like try and fit them in there both of the books i picked are like ya fantasy the first one is ignite the sun and i have never read this but i think it's for like a younger demographic i knew when i was getting it that it was ya but some ya books have like a bit of a younger feel than others and this is definitely one of them and i didn't really end up reading it at all i might have really liked it i don't know but i just like didn't even get to it and start reading it so but if i put it in there it will give it a new life and someone might read it and like absolutely love it so i'm definitely gonna put this one in there i don't have like multiple copies of books so i didn't put any that i absolutely love in there but maybe that's something i'll do one day and i'll just go out and get other copies and then the other one that i want to choose is the hazelwood and this one i know came out like a while ago this is actually like dusty it's just been sitting on my shelf for so long so i read it when i was younger and i didn't really like it because i think just i wanted it to end in a certain way and it didn't end in that way but i feel like still a lot of people would love this book i think a lot of people do love this book so i'm just gonna still put it in there and it's about time that i let go of it because i just didn't really like it that much i think it was something about like the love interest like i just wanted a certain love interest to get together and it didn't happen i can't remember how, how old i was when i read this those are the two that i'm gonna try to fit in there
Welcome to the outro. You might recognize me from the intro. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and felt, you know, all the cozy fall bookish feelings and I will see you in the next one.